Do you want to stop being a broke loser? Well, I'm here to change you. I'm here to fix you and your financial disaster that is your life. I want you to buy this book by me, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. It's $9.99, a paperback. I know, it's crazy. And $2.99 for an ebook. So buy the freaking book, learn how to manage your cash, investments, and insurance needs, and build a successful financial future. Don't forget, head over to Teespring as soon as you watch this video and go buy yourself some merch so I can make some money and we can make fun of these freaking losers together. Meet Kevin, Dogecoin Millionaire, and of course, Jeremy LaFufu. Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance, everybody. I am Christopher Bell, certified public accountant, long-term Boglehead investor, author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser, amazing t-shirt and coffee mug designer, and hater of peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms like Lending Club. Now, if you never heard of Lending Club, like you live in a rock under a rock, or maybe you actually have a life. Lending Club is a way for you to loan people money directly, okay? Instead of a bank issuing loans, you as an investor can actually lend people money in $25 increments. Or you can go on there and actually borrow money. Now, Lending Club back in the day offered personal loans, auto financing, business loans, patient solutions, I guess that was like medical debt, and other stuff. But you could go on here and either borrow money from your peers, other people, not banks, or you could invest in the debt, which means if you want to be an investor and you want to invest in 100 different loans, all you needed was $2,500, and you would basically buy a chunk of all that debt in $25 increments. So you could invest in 100 different loans, 1,000 different loans, and basically diversify because you're actually lending money to people, real people that have real debt. And they're classified based on, you know, risk tolerant, you know, likelihood of defaults, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or at least they used to until they, they shut it down. But there are lots of defaults that happen. Like you'll, you'll lend money to people. You'll, you'll lend $25 here, 25 here, 25 here, 25 there. And one of those people will default. It'll be charged off and you might lose all your money, which is why you can lend to hundreds or thousands of people. Now, I decided to go with Lending Club for a small investment when I was about 25 years old, 26. I was a young man. I'm 32 now. I'm old. Almost on Social Security. Can't wait. Now, instead of maxing my tax advantage accounts, I decided to put roughly five or six K into Lending Club, which would have been an IRA contribution. And yes, even Strongman, who you may think is perfect, has made mistakes. I put five to six grand in this stupid website, investing, not borrowing money, not realizing how illiquid and tax inefficient it actually was. Massive mistake. Now, before we get into why I hate this platform so much, let's kind of go through the website and I'll show you how it all works, at least on a basic level. And then I'll tell you why it's complete and utter trash. So stay to the end so I can get view times and grow my channel and, you know, retire early and pretend like, you know, you know, you can just, whatever. Anyway, important updates to the Lending Club's note platform. So apparently, I didn't even know this, but starting December 31st, 2020, Lending Club stopped allowing you to invest in other people's debt. So basically the whole point of the website is now dead. Now, apparently they bought a bank radius bank and they're going to do that to offer like new products but for the longest time you could invest in other people's debt now you can't do that which is freaking stupid so if you invested previously your notes are still good like you're still collecting principal and interest but you can't buy any new debt so this website's freaking dead all right so here's kind of what it looks like when you log in i had to do this i had to put it in powerpoint because like i couldn't hide my freaking account number piss me off not that I care. I mean, there's only two grand in there now. But here's how it all works. So basically, you log into the page, and you're able to see your adjusted net annualized return. I don't know how they calculate that. Your adjusted account value, your interest received, how much cash you have available, blah, 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 blah. And here on the right, it's actually pretty important. It shows all your notes at a glance. So over the life of my account, I have invested in 728 different notes at $25 a pop. So how it used to work is you would do your initial investments, 
and then every month you would get principal and interest payments. So as you can see right here, I've collected $17,248 of principal and interest. Now the interest, 3235 that's the taxable portion of it. But I have collected 17000 of principal and interest payments combined. And then I'm able to check my notes here. And what, what used to happen is they would pay me back. I would get the interest payments. And then it would be reinvested into new notes. So it's just basically a long, virtuous cycle. Anyway, you can also check and see that you can check basically every one of your notes. So here I currently have 137 notes outstanding. I have 470 notes that are fully paid. I have two that are in a grace period, which means little clowns need to pay their debts. And I have some late notes. Got two that are 16 to 30 days late and four that are 31 to 120 days late. Eventually, if people don't pay their debts, it gets charged off, which is a freaking capital loss. Okay, you actually lose money. And what Lending Club does is try to collect the money, but if they can't, oh well, out of luck. So there, there actually is some risk because you're lending to actual people who may not pay off their debts. Now, I've been liquidating this account because whenever I get paid back with principal and interest, I literally just cash it out and move it to my bank account because this is freaking garbage and we'll get into why in a second. But let's look at a couple more things. So here you can actually check your list of charged off notes. So you have like the loan ID, the note ID, the investment amount. If, as you notice, all the investments are $25 per note. So you're actually diversified a bunch of across a bunch of different people. And then you have the interest rate. So you have these ratings here, B3, B4, B5, B6, 5, 2, 1. These are all different uh, risk categories. So the higher the number, the less likely they are to default. So as you can see, the Bs, they have like 11, 12% interest rate annual. And then the Ds up to 28%. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's like worse than a credit card. But that's kind of how they categorize the, uh, the risk. The more the person is likely to default or the longer the pay payment period, the higher the interest rate. Makes sense to me, but who am I? So all of these have been charged off, which means I got all these payments, but I'm not getting anything else because these clowns basically defaulted on their debt. Isn't that wonderful? But hey, at least you have to do the collection stuff. And then these are my current notes. So I still have a bunch of notes outstanding. Woo, look at E right here, 27%, freaking crazy. And it basically shows you how much you invested, 25 per note, outstanding principal, so how much they still owe me, and the interest that is accrued on that outstanding principal. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting, but there are some problems. And here's where the freaking issues come in, okay? Number one, peer-to-peer -peer lending is tax inefficient, very tax inefficient. You can do this in an IRA. They offer IRAs, but I recommend you buy every company in the world at market cap weights, uh, VT ETF, in your IRA instead of freaking lending club, lending money to people. So if you have this in a taxable account, you're going to be paying your marginal tax rate in interest payments. For example, my return was 6.55%. However, that is a pre-tax return. If you factor in taxes, your return is actually way lower. So what you do is you take one minus your tax rate. So I'm in the 22% tax bracket for federal and let's see, 5.5. So I'm 22 plus 0, 0.75, 27.75, one minus 27.75 times 6.55. My actual after tax rate of return is 4.73% after taxes because I owe federal taxes this is interest, which is taxed at your marginal rate, and state taxes. If you live in a state that taxes your income because Democrats, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I live in Virginia. Sucks. So that right there shows how freaking garbage my returns are. I could have bought VT in a tax advantage account and got 10, 12%, whatever the market is freaking returned over the last five or six years annualized. Instead, I got a tax inefficient 4.73% return and I lent some money to a bunch of clowns, a huge portion of which didn't even pay off their freaking debts and basically defaulted, so went bankrupt. Isn't that great? Another thing that sucks about this, once you buy debt, you can't just sell your note. You used to be able to, but once you invest in the debt now, and they, they've suspended it, but when you invest in the debt, 
you can't liquidate that. You have to wait till you collect all the payments over the life of the loan before you can cash out. So this 2000 right here, it's $2,045 I have left in this. Oh, it's been here for freaking ever. I can slowly get this out because every time I get principal and interest payments, I take the cash out because I'm just, I'm done with this. Tax inefficient trash. But I can't cash out this 2000 This is basically locked away. It's illiquid until all the people pay me back in full. So I'm probably going to have a lending club account for another three, four years waiting for all the freaking principal and interest to come in before I can access this $2,000 and move it into a Roth IRA and buy VT. See how freaking annoying that is? The taxes will kill you. They'll kill your returns. And the money is locked away. And even now, they stop freaking lending. You can't even lend notes anymore. It's stupid. It's freaking total garbage. All right, here's the last thing I want to talk about. The last thing that sucks is every year you're going to get these tax forms. You're going to get a 1099 OID and a 1099B. The 1099B has the charge-offs. The 1099 OID has your interest. So if you see here on this 1099B, recoveries and proceeds from charged off loans. So this is people that didn't pay me back. Now the proceeds is basically the money they got from collections. So the people that they defaulted, I can't pay my debt. Lending club went after them and they were able to collect $64 out of all the defaults that happened in 2020. The cost basis, what I paid for those notes was 439. So I actually have a loss of about 300 and something dollars off bankrupt notes. And on top of that, if you look at all these freaking transactions, you actually have to like put this into your freaking tax data. So every time you file taxes, you have to pay extra for the software to freaking calculate all this freaking BS that goes into it. It's a freaking pain in the butt, okay? So you're paying horrible tax inefficient taxes. You're paying high taxes. It's completely illiquid. It's freaking locked away. You can't access. You have to wait for the loans to come in. And then every year for taxes, you got to deal with this stupid crap. You know what would be easier is just maxing your tax advantage accounts. Jesus Christ. Because then you could just put it into your IRA. You buy VT or VTI if you're a U.S. shill. And then you just leave it there. And that's it. Instead of dealing with this stupid tax inefficient crap. So yes, I hate peer-to-peer -peer lending. I think it's freaking garbage. I do not recommend it. It is a mistake that I made that I'm slowly correcting as I can get the money out. And I don't think you should do it. I think you should focus on maxing your tax advantage accounts and buying total rolled index funds. Way easier. Way more, way more productive. Way more profitable. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you how this crap works and don't get sucked into it, okay? Oh, it's exciting. It's it's uh, fintech. Freaking garbage. Who cares? That's it. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Y'all have a wonderful day. Choo!